I'm going to try not to talk too much and get to the poems, but I have to talk about the first one I'm going to share with you. Because uh, you inspired it, Tucson. And, uh, I wrote it when, uh, when the school board of the Tucson Unified School District, not the cool board members, because we have one in this room, but the other ones decided that they were going to try to take away ethnic studies and like, I don't know, a school taking away books, that just sounds stupid. So uh, I wrote a poem about it. So, <laughs> and it's called, it was when Hugo Traficante was coming through the whole southern part of America. They were coming from the east coast and they were going across the southern part, the southern states, kind of like a little north of the Frontera region. And they were gathering books at each stop. And they stopped, uh, to, to Mr. Diaz, Tony Diaz, they stopped in Albuquerque. And uh, I got to read as part of that. And they were bringing books here to start libraries for students who couldn't get the books in school anymore because they decided against it, that there were libraries that the students could go to. So we donated books and we donated poems. And this is the one I wrote. It's called Literacy Test, AKA the new Jim Crow. Oh. Yeah, I mean, okay. <laughs> Any person who shall attempt to teach any free person of color or slave to spell, read, or write, shall upon conviction thereof by indictment be fined in a sum not less than $250. From the Alabama Slavery Code of 1833. That was a lot of money in 1833. <laughs> when they can no longer steal our land, they'll steal our books. Because every genocide starts with the mind. Every revolution begins with a thought and heart. They will sacrifice our freedom of teach and only by the grace of the laws they created can they not sacrifice our hearts to stakes and nooses, bombs, gunfire, and arson. But believe me, they've tried. So plan B is to make us love ourselves less. If burning women at the stake couldn't kill feminism, how the hell they think they gonna ban Chicanismo? We ain't scared of a state that will burn and ban people because we are burnt and banned people. They won't even let us keep the perfect bound papers we got. These hypocrites are fitting to get their history undocumented. Displace pen from paper like people from places. Remove Mexican American hands from the first Catholic church ever built in Solomonville, Arizona, 1887. At First Presbyterian Church in Lorenzi, 1889. Remove pictures of brown Jesus who looks more Mexican than Methodists. Remove, remove the Immaculate Heart of Mary Church we built because we were tired of being forced to listen to Mass in the basement of St. Mary's. Erase the deportation of a thousand copper miners on strike in Bisbee, left on a train car in the New Mexican desert by vigilantes with no food or water. A government that so badly wants the history of how we got it to be forgotten that they will remove fingerprints from a crime scene. Remove Cesar Chavez birth from Yuma, remove Cesar Chavez, Gloria Anzaldúa, Tomás Rivera, Luis Valdez, Martín Espada, Isabel Allende, Rudolfo Anaya, Rodolfo Acuna, and Gonzalez, no Elizabeth Martinez, not even in pictures, no Mexican white boys, and no women hollering creek, no Sherman Alexi. Just like Pocahontas and John Smith, Thanksgiving and bullshit, the Lone Ranger and Tonto will not fist fight in heaven, they will hold hands. No suit suit, nobody's son, everybody's pro, no codexes, only Rolexes, no Black Mesa poems. Arizona wouldn't even leave Baldwin and Zinn alone. Said F you to Rosales, Abu Jamal, and Henry David Thoreau. No rethinking Columbus, no rethinking anything. As a matter of fact, no thinking, period. Because the ruling class would have us drink Kool-Aid instead of Cultura because there is no single act worse than the revisionist history they hate than removing books from schools. I want to tell America that bleaching the brown off your history will not make you clean. There is no way. There is no way to separate your guilt from truth that there is an ex in la raza too and just because your history is unswallowable without milk we are like water for chocolate that's no excuse so, so we'll build a bridge of banned books across the border and when you find yourself so far from god that you need to borrow that bridge to get back we won't even ask for your papers 
We'll just open our history books and keep track because the only people who are afraid of the past are people who are afraid of facts. Let me get this straight. You want to remove books from our tragically underperforming education system, maintaining it's not about race when it's obvious it's not about class. This is, this is a you are not allowed to have a history lesson where there are only closed book tests because you don't want us to pass. You guys made me write that. You guys made me write that. We were in New Mexico watching the whole thing go down, and we were like, yo. And I, and I got to meet some of the students came through the Albuquerque Peace and Justice Center and I got to meet some of the students who handcuffed themselves to the desk and I was like, you guys are my heroes. I write poems about people like you. You guys are awesome. So, so I, I, I'm glad you guys liked it because I'm honored to share it with you because you guys did me the honor of standing up for yourselves. Which is yeah!